Hey WinTech Warriors! Today we will demonstrate how to transfer files within Easy Builder Pro via FTPS. We will connect to a FileZilla FTP server that we will configure to accept implicit FTP over TLS connections. I've downloaded FileZilla server and will head to the administration interface. In the host field, I'll keep it as my loopback address, or the address of my local system. I'll keep the port number 14148 and enter a password, then click OK. And just like that, we are connected to our FileZilla server. Next, head to the Server tab and select Configure. On the following menu, select the Server Listeners page. You can leave the addresses at their default state as they will allow us to listen to all interfaces, but change the port numbers to 990. Port 990 is used for implicit secure FTP sessions. Then, change the protocol to implicit FTP over TLS. Let's add a user. Navigate to the Users page under Rights Management and select Add. Next, enter a username and select Require a Password to Log In from the Authentication drop-down list. Then enter a password for the user in the field below. Next, add a virtual and native path. The virtual path is the path utilized by the FTPS client. The native path is where the file will be sent to or retrieved from on the PC. In this example, we will use a forward slash for the virtual path, which will be mapped to a folder called demo on our C drive. Leave the mount options as is and select OK when finished. Let's add our newly created FileZilla server to our project. Within Easy Builder Pro, head to the Data Slash History tab and select FTP Connection. Click New on the following window. In the Type drop-down list, select Implicit FTP over TLS and the server's address in the host field, 127.0.0.1, the loopback address for our local system. Then, keep the port number 990 and add the username and password that we previously created for our FTP server. Please note that when you're ready to download the project to your HMI, you must change the host address to reflect the IP address of the PC or device hosting the FTP server. Let's whip up a demo project to see our newly created FTP server in action. Head to the Object tab and select the File Browser object. We'll use this object to select files we want to transfer to the server. Choose an available address within the HMI and place the object in your project. Next, select an ASCII object. Give it the same address as the file browser object and change the word count to 20. This will allow us to display the selected file's name. Place the object in your project when finished. Return to the Object tab and select a Combo button. We'll use this object to execute the file transfer. Add a file transfer action and select the Upload HMI to FTP option. In the Status tab, we can configure status registers that will show us error and response codes, as well as transfer percentages. I'll then add these three status registers to the project. Head to the File tab select the Address option in the HMI Full Pass section and enter the same address as the file browser and ASCII objects we created earlier. In this example, we'll select Fixed in the FTP Full Path section. I'm going to add a static path with file name, which is where the file will be transferred onto the FTP server. Select OK and place the combo button within your project. Let's run a quick demo to see our FTP server in action. Because I'm running an online simulation, I've placed a PDF file in the USB1 directory located in the Easy Builder Pro Installation Files folder. This will allow us to access the file with the file browser object we configured earlier and transfer it to the native path set within the FTP server. Okay, it's simulation time. 
As you can see, our PDF file can be selected with the File Browser object. Once selected, its name appears in the ASCII object. And when we press the combo button, the file is transferred to our FTP server. And the status registers indicate that the file has been transferred successfully. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, head on over to our channel for more great technical tutorials. And come on down to our forum, it's a great resource for everything WinTech.